Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this video. Um, today we're going to talk about ranking your shirt in Amazon with the Merch by Amazon listing. And I actually just made like a nine minute video on this, but I was thinking like no one has the patience for that these days. So I'm going to try to keep this under two minutes and just give you the main points uh, because, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. So let's talk ranking. Let's jump into Amazon. Um, let's dissect a listing real quick. I'm going to add this keyword here, Orca. Just pull up the merch shirts. And uh, let's just take this shirt, for example. All right, so because I want to keep this uh, video quick and to the point, I'm not really going to talk about strategy, but I'm going to talk about some of the best practices when it comes to ranking and optimizing your listing because that's one of probably the most, one of the most important ways for getting a shirt sold uh, if you're just relying on the organic traffic of Amazon and not pushing paid traffic or working with local partners um, outside or offline. So the title right here is your most important ranking factor. There's no doubt about that. That is the number one uh, key that you should be focusing on and thinking and putting your main keyword in there and keeping it keyword rich. Let me just point this out. Look how diverse this title is. You only need to have a keyword in the shirt once for it to rank for that keyword. So this person has put all of these are different words, but all relevant, highly relevant. And they also are legible in their own context. American flag cat t-shirt, funny for the July gift. It's almost like sentences within a broader sentence. So this is a really great example of what I would recommend doing, having the word, you know, gift. If you do that, I do that. Not everyone does that. Having a nice t-shirt, funny, cat you talk about the niche and then more you can sub niche into like american flag i love this this is just a solid title now another ranking factor branding a lot of people um stuff keywords stuff the branding because it does have ranking power and so if you can put a keyword relevant or sorry that's very similar to a keyword in the title so like cat you can put cats or kitten there it'll it'll rank even more powerfully but you risk a uh, losing in terms of trust factor because for me this this doesn't look very trustworthy as a brand but it's not really a problem this looks like more of an impulse buy a shirt it's you know 18 bucks you know I, I'm, i'll be willing to to buy it at the risk of the brand not being you know that trustworthy but it has you know you know powerful ranking uh influence so use it if you will i would suggest doing a mix of something that sounds like a brand so like kitty cat tees or something you know it sounds like a legit brand Bullets are huge because they have so much character space compared to these two. Um, and you can put in just tons of keywords. At the same time, you don't want to be spammy and stuff it because that's just not best practices on Amazon. Over time, that is not what's going to get you the best results. If you're thinking in, of this of more of a long-term business, um, I would recommend just kind of uh, having more of a salesy vibe in the bullets. So getting their emotions excited, but putting relevant keywords here and there. So for example, it's like, um, are you excited to celebrate the 4th of July uh, with your cat uh, this summer? Um, show your, your patriotism or show pride for your country by grabbing this uh, t-shirt to wear with your kitty. Or, you know, get it for your mom uh, to celebrate July 4th. And to get some keywords in there that are relevant to the shirt. Using these to sell as opposed to just kind of reiterate and describe is what I would suggest doing because think about it if someone's on the fence and they go to the bullets which most people do not they're probably looking for a reason to buy because you know generally people just look at the image the price and maybe the title that's about it and reviews for social proof they don't really venture into the bullets the bullets are more to serve sellers um, but very important uh, real estate for keywords so I always fill these with a lot of keywords maybe a bit more than I should be uh, but right now you know, the platform's a bit funky, so I'm just doing whatever it takes to get uh, the shirt seen. Obviously not whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm not just doing like cat, cat, cat t-shirt, cat lover t-shirt, cat uh, fan t-shirt. I'm making it legible and, you know, trustworthy. The description in mobile pops up. They don't have one, but it pops up above the bullets and all these features. So I would suggest actually copying one or two of the bullets put in the description because for one, it'll index and rank into Google. Hopefully right now, some of the new shirts are having trouble with it, but you know, previously that's what's happening and Google can become a great source of traffic for your shirts. Also, if people again are on the fence and they kind of scroll down to check out the description, that's what pops up first. The bullets, you kind of have to dig into it a bit on mobile and mobile is a huge source of traffic nowadays, especially for impulse buys, you know, moms on their phones or things like that in shopping. So let's keep this short and sweet. Those are the main factors. I would highly recommend you spend some time, sculpt, you know, 
sculpting the title to be the best it can be, having the most important keyword you want to rank for, but also niching down a little bit um, and creating a lot of keyword rich diversity. So yeah, I could go in a lot more, but I'll just keep it short for now. Uh, thanks so much for wa for watching. We, we talked ranking today. I uh, wish you best of luck in your next upload and you can use some of these tips. Um, all right, talk soon.